Assalamu alaikum and welcome to my channel Learn with Fun by Zara sir. Today we'll be discussing uh, behavior of inductor in AC circuit. So let's begin with I'll assume the instantaneous voltage as V is equal to Vm sin omega t. The same way which we have used in resistor. This is my inductor L and the current flowing through inductor L is I. Now you have already seen an equation and you are aware about the equation of inductor E is equal to L di by dt. Okay. But what we will be doing is we will be replacing this E, okay, the EMF induced basically with our terms V so that it would be very easy to simplify and understand the concept. Okay. Now can I write if I arrange the term di by dt will be equal to 1 upon L into small v. Okay. I need to get the value of current I. So what I'll be doing is I will be uh, like I need to do integration. So I'll be using di over here and moving dt to the right hand side. So this term should be dt. Now if I integrate this before integrating I'll be writing 1 upon L. I'll be writing v small v as Vm sin omega t dt. Now if I apply integration on both the side applying integration on both the side what I'll get is integration of di will be Vm by L integration sin omega t dt. Okay. And now integration of di will be i is equal to vm by l integration of sin omega t is minus cos omega t upon omega. Therefore, I can write i is equal to vm upon omega l minus cos t can be written as sin omega t minus pi by 2. Okay. Why I have made this change is because my Vm was in terms of sine. So I need my I also in terms of sine. And as you can see the phase difference I have got as minus pi by 2. Now I have got the phase difference as minus pi by 2. There is one more important deduction over here which is I is equal to Vm upon. Uh, in resistor we got this as R. I'm getting omega L over here. I'll assume that to be as XL. So I can write sin omega T minus sorry sin omega T minus pi by 2. Okay, just a second. Pi by 2. So this XL is omega L which is equal to 2 pi F into L. So this you have seen uh, over many places. It has been deduced over here that instead of writing reactance of uh, inductor, I will be using this inductive reactance all over the places. So this is known as inductive reactance. Okay. Now the point is, as you can see, I can deduce this. Uh, I mean to say, this uh, equation as I m sine omega t minus pi by 2 where my im is this complete term vm by xl and now the waveform will be similar to resistance we get this uh, voltage over here but the current will be a phase difference of pi by 2 so the phase difference of pi by 2 means if this is my voltage equation sorry voltage waveform now my current waveform will be starting after pi by 2. So if the difference is pi by 2, the current waveform will be something like this. It has a difference of pi by 2. So this is the difference which is pi by 2. And you can see the voltage is leading the current by a difference pi by 2. So I equal to I m sin omega t okay, minus pi by 2. So this is my equation over here. Hope you have understand the concept. Do like the video, comment and share it with your friends so that you can get the benefits of it. Okay. Thank you everyone. Have a good day.